Hi, my name is Joanne Lighty. I'm Dean of Engineering at Boise State University, and I'm interviewing today Karen Gleason, the Alexander and Michael Kaser Professor of Chemical Engineering at MIT. Karen has been chosen by AICHE to present the John M. Prausnich Institute Lecture for 2019. We're very excited that you'll be presenting the lecture, and your title is from Chemical Engineering Fundamentals to Commercialization of Vapor Deposited Polymers. Thanks so much for joining us today, Karen. Thank you, Joanne. Thanks for the kind introduction. Yes, yeah, so to get things started, could you give us a bit of an overview on chemical vapor deposition? Certainly. As chemical engineers, we're very familiar with heterogeneous catalysis with vapor reactants. And really, chemical vapor deposition is exactly the same thing, except for the fact that the products are solid, thin films that stay on the, mm -hmm. um, the, the surface. And in your talk, you're going to talk about the many ways that the CBD technique is beneficial for a variety of applications. So why do you think it is so versatile? Well, CVD has really a great prevalence in the semiconductor industry. If you own a, a mobile phone or a laptop, the chips in there have CVD materials, and most of them are inorganic. Uh, what I'll be talking about is actually organic or polymer-like um, thin films. And the great thing about those is that the surface is almost room temperature when you do mm. the deposition. So all types of novel uh, substrates from papers and plastics to even plants can be uh, modified using the um, CVD and it's great for things that have shape so it totally yes. encases mm -hmm. things that have shape inclu including the fibers of clothing. Great. And one of the nice things about your talk is really it's discussion about going from those fundamentals mm -hmm. to commercialization. And so, as a co-founder of GVD Corporation, as well as Dropwise Technologies mm -hmm. Corporation, what do you see as the future for both of those companies? And the, in more broadly, the future for CVD and its applications in terms of the commer commercialization scale. So GVD, I'm proud to say, is almost 20 years old wow. at this point. Um, it's reached uh, commercial commercialization and profitability in two different markets and is currently working um, on a third market. It does manufacturing in the U.S. and Europe and uh, we're thinking about Asia at this point which would be really good and there's also a pipeline for additional markets because CBD is so um, versatile. Um, Dropwise is looking at making energy production more uh, efficient, uh, really in power plants, steam condensation is very important, and by modifying the surfaces of condensers, you can get that dropwise yeah. condensation, which is the best heat transfer. Great, so lots of future mm -hmm. in both of those areas. I'd like to thank you for your time and sharing your perspectives. And in conclusion, if you had one message that you'd like to share for our younger colleagues and all of those future Prasnitz lectures out there. Yeah, I, it's hard to do one, but I, I will try, <laughs> okay, to, I will try to limit, my, <laughs> limit myself. So I think the main thing is when you're applying for different things, including awards like this one, uh, don't select yourself out. There are plenty mm -hmm. of people who will uh, do that for you, so be optimistic and apply. Very good advice, and thank you again, Karen. Thank you, Joanne.